Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Mayo Career Mode Series. Today we have two very big games against Chelsea and Tottenham. And also we are still in the January transfer window. Basically, if you've missed last episode, there's been mainly two big things really. We signed Luke Shaw on a pre-contract, so he's gonna join us next season. And also we have signed a free agent striker in Charlie Facobo who actually almost has the same overall as Chifchi and uh, also has 5 star skills. They are very similar players actually. If you look at it, they are both quite fast. Chifchi has loads of strength though compared to Fakobo. But uh, Fakobo is 6 foot and yeah, 5 star skill moves and also quite nice finishing with 77. So who knows, maybe sometime we will actually ship off uh, Chifchi in favor of Fakobo because there's really no need to keep two strikers that are kind of are pretty much the same really but yeah tell me in the comment below what you think about that also we have made some offers for a couple players which are Jack Butland, John Stones, Jamal Lascelles and Nathan Redmond so we're gonna see uh, what is gonna happen with those guys but first let's get into this game against Chelsea Alright, so here we are at the then facing the so far best team this season, Chelsea. Had they lost in one game? I'm not sure, but they are quite far at the top, 44 points. However, we need to win this game because if we win it, then we could close the gap to Manchester City to only two points. Alright, so I have pretty much my best team possible out. With Zivkovic and Ings as uh, striker do up front, the Lalamet, Cam, Roberts, Naib on the wings. Obviously, um, I kind of like this formation in the last couple of games with two strikers. I think it does me really well going forward and looking at their side. Yeah, it's obviously very good. Matic and Van Ginkel, two CDMs, William and Schurle at the wings. On the bench, they've guys like. Aguero, Fabregas, yeah, very decent side, I must say. Right, come on, Roberts. Play to Zalalem. Play to Zivkovic. Ah, couldn't control it. Come on, get it back. All right, guys, so we're almost half an hour into this game. So far, not really a good shot on target for either team. However, we are pretty dominant possession-wise, which is good to see. All right, Zalalem, come on. Come on, pass it over. Zivkovic, ah! Oh! Couldn't control it. Could have gotten a nice shot of there. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Come on, Danny Ings, hit that. Ah, oh. was it blocked? No, nah, it wasn't blocked. That was actually a first shot towards the goal. Actually, first shot towards the goal for either side. Not very spectacular game so far, but like I said, very good uh, possession football by us. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, come on. Thought that pass wouldn't work. Come on, Zalalem. Biggest chance of the game so far. And it's in. Off Benatia. It's gone in and it counts as an own goal. Not sure if that would have gone in. Wow. What a lucky goal that is. Holy shit. Just look at that. 60% possession against Chelsea. That's actually very decent. Oh, there's Danny. Come on. What a beautiful pass by Zalal. And it's 2 0. Oh, wow. And that should be a red card right there. Benatia, are you mad, sir? <laughs> are you mad? Just throwing Danny Ings over. And he wanted to celebrate, but just look at that pass by Zalal in there. He's got great long passing, I must say. And he shows it every game in Danny Ings. Easy, easy finish there. And it's 2 0 against Chelsea. Oh god, and right from kickoff. Get a good chance here. Chelsea do. And Nardi with his first save of the game. Keeps that out. Wasn't the best shot. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh, Nardi again. The save. Oh my god, now they're pressuring. They want the ball early and often. Oh my, oh wow. 
Oh, Benzia, what were you hitting there? I don't think Chelsea was ready for that kind of passing game by us. Oh, Zivkovic. That's too easy. That is too easy. Chelsea, what are you doing? All right, looks like they're going to bring on Aguero for Benzema. <laughs> what a substitution that is. All right, so I've made a little trip to substitution. Charlie for Kobo, a new man's going to come in for Zivkovic. Yannick Gerhard's going to come in for Zalalem. And also Ekpaguma is going to come in for Jenkinson. Come on, Danny, hit that. Oh, my God, no. Danny, get up, please. No, Danny. Danny, I just made my third substitution. Come on, Danny. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah, that is annoying. God, here's Chelsea. Here's Chelsea for Aguero. What the hell? Did you just try to pass that to yourself or what? What the fuck is going on with Chelsea today? Oh, and there's a new man for Kobo. Oh, with Ronaldo chop. Gets through. Come on. There we go. No. I don't know what is going on with Chelsea today. Oh, wow. Of course, when I say that, I get a penalty. However, it is already injury time, so... Even if they score here, yeah, I think we should still win this game. My god, that's so unfortunate though. Again, I wasn't pressing circle or anything. Wow, what a dive that is. And it's Benatia too. Come on. Ah, go to the wrong side, but... Man, you should, get, you should get the ball. You don't have that much time to celebrate. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright, come on. Ref, please blow your whistle. Why is it five minutes now? Wasn't it just three minutes a couple of moments ago? But anyways, I don't care. We have still won this game. Was that the first loss for Chelsea this season? I'm not 100% sure. But it's definitely some vital three points. It's also going to push us a bit nearer to Chelsea, obviously. Even though it's still seven points more that they have than we do. But just look at the stats. We've played a very solid game, minus the pass accuracy, which felt like it was better, honestly. Shots have been almost equal, really. We've had one more shot and one more shot on target. Oh, it was actually a very good performance by us. Very proud of my team. All right, Dominic Anderson wants to discuss wages. Fair enough. He's not really uh, getting that much wage money anyway, so... Where are you? Anderson, 5k per week, that is actually, and he only wants 8. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so the Tottenham game is just a couple days afterwards, but we get some emails here. Transfer offer rejected for Jack Butler, and I just don't know what they want for him. And it won't let me inquire either. Oh my god, are you serious, Anderson? For fuck's sake, first you go... First you hit me up, maybe we discuss wages. Alright, about that new contract. Who are you? He doesn't want to sign a contract next time. For fuck's sake, Anderson. Please don't do that. Don't be a bitch. You're not interested in player. Norwich. You wanted to buy Beavers. And now you now I offer you Beavers in this deal. And you, now you tell me you're not interested in the player. What the hell? So, we're going to remove Beavers from that deal. That's off a of 5 million for Nathan Redmond. Hopefully they're gonna take that. Welcome to White Hart Lane, everybody. I'm gonna face Spurs, the team that has been pretty dominant actually the last couple of years. This season they have slipped off, I think. Yeah, they're 10th. Last season they drew with Chelsea uh, on points. And Chelsea won the title because of better goal difference. And the year before they've won it. So I'm not sure why they stood off so strongly. Alright, so looking at the Spurs squad, it's Doombia up front, Boney on the bench, Holtby at Cam. Not, not a very, very strong side, I must say. Not the best side ever. I think they're very beatable. And looking at our side, it's Shifty and Selke this time at striker. Anderson at Cam, Isaac Bede on the left, Nebri on the right, Gerhard at CDM. See how that's gonna go, and... Dyer and Castelletto are still my both center backs. They actually still pretty fit. Riederwald and Jenkins are not full backs. Oh, I just remember the first time we faced in the season. They actually killed us, so 
should be a way in this one. What was it, like 3-1 or something? Or 3-0 actually. Not quite sure, but that was a nice save by Nardi there. Ah, this is not ultimate team. Oh my god, what a terrible clearance that was. What a terrible shot that was. Spurs are getting the ball back very early and I just can't seem to stop them. Every now with a nice save. Oh my fucking god, no! Oh. God sake, I need to calm down. I'm very heck. Oh my fucking god, Bealy! What the fuck is wrong with me, players? Oh wow. I was nice up at Doombia. Oh my god. Such a tough start to the game so far. Spurs. Which is not playing like a 10th place team. Alright, now we have a free kick here. Maybe that's gonna give us our first chance really of the game. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, now they're bringing Boney for Doombia. Tell you what, it's actually probably a good substitution for me because Doombia's pace is just. Unbelievable. And Boney might be a bit easier. I'm very cautious with what I'm saying right now. Oh shit. That was just way too easy. Just look at that. I have no idea what Dyer and Castelletto were doing. <sighs> Come on, that It was the worst defending I've ever seen. Oh, yes, 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 no. I still don't have a shot in this game. Yes, yes, what a nice ball by Selke, come on. Come on, our first shot in this game and it's safe, for God's sake. Shift, you got to finish that. Oh, and that's the two now. Fuck! Why are we so inconsistent? We get a great win, and right after that we get a terrible loss like that. It's been the story of the season. It's never really... We never go on to win like three or four in a row. Come on, Anderson. Hit that. Oh. Alright, nice. We lost 2-0 at White Hart Lane. Terrible loss. Probably one of the worst performances by us in this season. The defending has been horrendous at times. That's mostly my fault. Oh, we just got only two shots off in this whole game. Alright, we've got two emails here. Transfer off of Simon Agnew. Probably on his PSG won Simon Agnew on a season loan. Alright, I guess. <laughs> Do you also want to buy him for 40 million or something? About last match. Yeah, the board is not happy. Better don't get sacked. I better don't get fucking sacked. They want 8 million for Nathan Redmond. Are you fucking mad? But anyways, we got some final scout reports from the for the Mexican guy, Arturo Gonzalez, Sandy San at 24 years old. Looks very good indeed. Hmm, what might they want for him? Do they want more? Ah, around 6 million. Only got 8 left, so... Not sure if that's gonna happen. Alright, remember that Sam Sun, this guy we, we took a look at last episode. Yeah, he's... Even though it's last year on his contract, he's still worth 14.9 to 22 million. So that's not gonna happen, so I really have to see now what do I wanna do. You know what, let's actually sim this game against Hull. Hope we can still win it. The best squad out. Come on, lads. Come on, please. Yes! Yes! Whew, I was so nervous about simulating. But Haidara, out of all people, picks up the goal to get us to the next round of the FA Cup. Brilliant. Alright, so I'm still considered an invaluable member of the Millwall family. That is good to hear because the board wasn't happy after. The Spurs game. Yay! Dale Ali finally, after a hundred years of being freaking injured, he's back. That's good to see. Let's try for Jack Butlin again. Let's try for six million for now. John Stones. 
Would you go for five million? Let's see if that happens. Oh my god, he would be so good! Just look at that, five star skill moves! Six for two, and oh my god, just look at the pace, solid strength, good stamina, very good finishing, oh my god, why couldn't we have somebody like that in our youth, ca youth academy? I'm still not sure about this guy, he is very good, I would love to have him on, on my team. However, there's bigger needs than CM, really. Oh, rejected and unacceptable. 7.5 million. Ah, oh, come on, just fucking take take the money. All right, guys. Anyways, that gives me the chance to ask you guys. With the eight million, I could buy probably either Jack Butland or John Stones. So it's pretty much up to you whether it is going to be Jack Butland. Whether you think that uh, it is worth getting another goalkeeper. To replace Nadi because he hasn't been growing for me. I oh, know. Tell me in the comment below, please. I really don't know right now. So either Jack Butland, John Stones, and Avon Redmond, or maybe even somebody else. I don't know. If you have somebody who you really want to see, then leave a comment down below. I will take a look at him. So, anyways, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more Mirror Creamer and support the series. Tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.